Okay, now we're live. Now we're live. You are very welcome, everyone, to day four of Making a Brand with Martha Fraser, online business coach and mentor and founder of The Shine Adventure, the online program to help you expand your business online. And Kerry Manning, who is our branding expert and who has been in-house the last four days with me. Um, and we have been doing some really interesting discoveries about our brands. And she's been really taking us on um, a lovely venture i think um so kerry i'm just thinking now it's the brand adventure instead of the shine adventure or the yeah, yeah, brand yeah, adventure, yeah. one of the two yeah we're on a mini detour yeah. <laughs> um i can't believe it's day four already it's gone so quickly it has gone really quickly and i'm actually just gonna if you can bear with me for one second i'm just gonna share it if you just bear with me for one no second problem. um so what has been your um anything kind of come to mind after the four days that you'd like to share anything like that I just, I just think that I was doing some own some research for my own website this morning um and I think it's just your so, own brand <laughs> my own brand yes and it, it brings us to the point where we're at today which is about visual branding and obviously content as well which we discussed yesterday and one of the one of the great ways of of researching a brand is to do a competitive analysis. So I was going out and, you know, seeing what other personal branding coaches that were out there and how they did their brand and everything. And yeah. it's a great little exercise because it kind of, I'm not, my brand is not like anybody else's, but that's a good thing because it makes you unique. Yes. Yes. And I think that the, the work we've done is really a lot of it is tapping into your own personal uniqueness and what makes you different to somebody else. And that's really what makes you stand out in a crowd. Yes. Is the fact that you are different. And I think that there is space in the world for everyone. And you need to go with your gut instincts more than anything else. Because if you know, if you say, okay, well, somebody says I should be a blue because blue is normal color you use for healthcare, just as an example. Uh, yeah. Don't don't feel that you have to follow any form. You, you, you've, we've done the work to figure out who we are. Mm -hmm. And now it's about taking that uniqueness and taking that, that brand value, the brand essence, and putting it into a visual identity. And that's exciting. Yes, it's extremely exciting. I have to say, I've really enjoyed um, the last couple of days. Um, just uh, the, the breakthroughs for, for me doing this, as I said, like I'm really on this journey myself of, um, working on my own business and as you know um, my own clients work on theirs you have to you have to walk the walk and talk the talk and work on your own business as well and um, I think um, I think one of the biggest breakthroughs definitely um, you totally highlighted to me how I wasn't actually telling the world about the main thing they do which is the tech um i wasn't actually really putting it out there and taking it for granted um and uh it was it was like until you said it i was like oh my god that's so obvious i'm not and uh it's so funny how we look at our own business we look at our own website and we take for granted what we do ourselves you know and um that was just, uh, yeah, that was interesting, you know. Um, so, and I, I think the other big one, which I've already said, I think every day since the first day, was that your brand is talking whether you want it to or not. So whether you've worked in it or not, um, then there is a conversation happening subliminally about you, your business, your brand. So um, best to put a little bit of time into it and make a little bit of effort with it. Um, I, think, I think something that's come through for me really clearly in the last couple of days is the value of coaching because I mean I work as a coach um, and consultant you work as a coach and mentor so we should understand the value of coaching but when you and I think this is like the tech thing some people say oh you know I don't really have the money for that right now because I have other priorities in my life but when you actually spend time with somebody especially if it's in a one-to-one -one situation exploring research <laughs> those things come out we we get too close to our own selves and we need somebody to come and work with us to bring those things <laughs> like the tech because you become very close to your own situation i have to get water i'm so <laughs> sorry give me one That's minute okay i'll talk i'll talk <laughs> 
<laughs> get water. But just, just saying to Martha now, it really is, um, it's important to actually take some time out, time and spend some money on your own business because it, it'll bring things to you that you won't necessarily get just working on your own. Um, I wrote a blog post a while ago on social isolation and very proudly won an award for it because working from home or working alone is very, very hard because you are in your own headspace and in your own company all the time. And it is a bit isolating. So one of the first times I met Martha was at an online stars meetup in Galway where we just got together. And I think it's, it's just very important to use peer groups, use masterminds, use coaching to get extra almost staff members, team members into your team if you're yeah. working completely alone, because it is, it's very isolating and you don't see the problems. I was delighted that when I was working with my own mentor, all of a sudden there was a, there was a shift because she, she had somebody else to talk to and she's had a complete shift and turn around in her own business life because of that. And it's funny because like the first time I invested um, in a mentor, I'll never forget it. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm after doing this. And um, it was the best money I ever spent. And then I remember going through a phase where I didn't have a mentor. And um, the things that happened were um, I went off track. I made a big mistake that actually cost me a couple of thousand. Um, and my kind of belief in myself was going up and down. And um, and what I said to myself then was, I because I thought I'd go it alone for a while. And then what I said to myself, do you know what? I said, I will never be without a mentor again. And um, I currently have two, <laughs> which is great. But, um, and Kerry for this four days is three. <laughs> um, and it really brought it back into me. I think what a mentor and a coach does is that it helps you, first of all, believe in yourself again believe in your plan and helps you stay on track. Um, so th that's totally, I love what you said, Carrie. Love it. Love and there's a sense you. of accountability as well, because you are going to have that call. Now we've had a, um, a slide this morning, so I haven't actually seen Martha's mood board, but that's no. what we left off okay. yesterday was on the mood board. So tell us how it made you feel putting that mood board together. Incredible actually, um, because it's something that, I've done a lot of vision boards. I'm just going to see if I can share this on my screen. Give me one teeny tiny second. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of vision boards and uh, we all know what a vision board is. And so I kind of did the same thing. Now I did it in Canva. So um, let's just see if I can just open this up. Oh, sure, it's after. Oh, perfect, actually. Okay, I'm just going to make it smaller and I'll share my screen then so that you can see it. I've no idea if I did the right thing because it wasn't all brands that I put in. It was a bit of vision, a bit of branding. <laughs> anyway, I'll share it. I'll stop talking and I'll share it. Give me one second. Um, uh, let's see here. Share my screen. You haven't seen it yet. You haven't? No. <laughs> the excitement. The excitement. <laughs> okay, share screen. So... This is what I put together now. <laughs> That's fabulous. Did you like it? I do. Okay, so it's funny. It kind of came to me. I said, oh my God, I have to get this um, this brand mood board done for this call today. And it's funny, it made me do it. So, okay, so what do we have as part of my brand? And it's funny, there isn't a sign of it. It's, it's like McDonald's, right? McDonald's has all this feeling and there's no burgers. This is all this feeling, but there's no tech and there's no online mentions, right? Um, so I suppose my brand, the brands that I like are Puka Tea, which I love. I love their branding. I love buying Puka Tea. Um, the green and black chocolate, again, another favorite. Um, good quality handbags, Michael Kors. Um, I just love. Uh, and also there's another friend of mine, I have to give her a mention, Shona Easton, who's a handbag designer. Sorry, Shona. Um, and the, I love her. Roche. They are my treat, treat, treat. Um, and then just kind of healthy on the go, smart food. Um, and then the family over here, kind of the life you want to live um, with the feeling and adventure and going places. And then, of course, we have all the different cities and the airplane. Um, and then the world is here because I just, you know, 
I want to leave my mark in a positive way, as does a lot of my clients. They want to share their message with the world. Um, and then over here, I feel a bit materialistic putting this in, but I was trying to think of where does brands pop up? So I thought cars. So um, I, BMW, I like, to be honest, I've never been a car person. It's really weird. My husband is a big car person, but he has 